Hello everyone, my name is Pixel Riffs and welcome back to Forever Stranded Lost Souls with the Cobblenauts. How are you guys doing? Hope you're having a good day. Hope you guys enjoyed the astral sorcery introduction we got in the last episode because today we got some more of that starting off with these mysterious particles that I see drifting up from the area around my base, which is currently in progress, and now I can mine out some marble from the local area. I figured I might make a start on what's going to be kind of like a, uh, a headquarters, I guess. I'm going to aim for something kind of vaguely modern, but with classical influences. I'm not quite sure how it's going to turn out yet, but I need some sort of base to go into, basically just to avoid these guys <laughs> coming up on me and having 124 health, because as you'll see, the difficulty is still pretty high. I don't think there's really a way you can turn that down at any point. And stuff like this keeps coming out, and this worries me. This is like a villager who seems to have turned into the Hulk. <laughs> it's the only... Uh, description I can possibly give. I really hope he can't hit me up here. But uh, yeah, this guy... Oh, it's a Trolliger! Okay, interesting. Well, he seems to be damaging himself, but he's certainly uh, throwing blocks around, and I don't know what that thing is. Uh, <laughs> okay, I better make a hasty exit. Enjoy the Astral Sorcery, folks! <laughs> Rock Crystal Ore. There we go. That's the stuff. Now, I do not have luck on my pickaxe. You can still mine it without. You just won't get a chance of getting that much more. Okay, so rock crystal ore. Nice, I got three. Well, that's very good, actually. Valen, once again, you look like somebody has been using you to store arrows. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I need to shave again. It's I, just... like, I like your Sonic the Hedgehog cosplay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to go fast. So you should I put the light, the light well down. It's going to need access to the sky, but it'll be even better if we can have it somewhat close to a floating crystal that can uh, also link onto it. So feasibly, I'd say put it close, like maybe this line I'm standing on here. Where, where's some marble? There we go. Let's put some marble down. Somewhere around here-ish. Like in the middle, or does it matter? It doesn't really matter right now. We can move it later. Now, you can automate these with, like, pipes going underneath. So you need to have uh, properly, like, fortified or hardened pipes of some sort or another. Hector, did you have if another one of those spectral relays you can put down? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, these pedestals uh, are now uh, functional. There's, there's... Ah, I, I don't... I think we've, we're missing a lens. We should be all right for starlight. I mean, with that... Uh, floating crystal and these, I mean, we've got more than enough at this point. Our limiting factor at this point is going to be our light wells, which will need some kind of liquid storage. Uh, I will grab a tank if we have one. Oh, I've got a singularity tank. That'll work. That Do we it. need more light wells? Um, we don't have to. It just makes it uh, so that we can get more starlight faster. All right, pistol. I would like for you to right-click some of those aquamarines on the light wells. Has that, has that happened? I can't. I can't see any difference. Any difference for what? Like this? Yes, like that. Ah. Uh, I was. I was thinking. I was thinking the things on the sides were little buttons that I needed to press. I was so confused. <laughs> I was like right-click gotcha. the aquamarines. I was like, you what? <laughs> pushing the At button. I hadn't got them yet. <laughs> no worries. So um, now over time, it being daylight, midday, that's probably the least amount of starlight we're going to be getting. But if you look inside the well, you'll see that there's some liquid in there now. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Shiny. And uh, it gets more at nighttime, and even more if you can link the, uh, the floating crystal oh. to enhance this, and even more if it's a resonating gem. But for now, I'm just going to put some servos on these... Quest updated liquid starlight. Hooray. So what our objective is is to get one bucket's worth at least of liquid starlight, which it will definitely speed up and increase as time goes on. But um, there's also a chance of the aquamarines breaking at random. Oh, you can great. get you can get several buckets worth of starlight out of them, potentially, or practically none. <laughs> it's it's random. <laughs> but, but I assume that's the kind of thing you can automate, just have it, like, place it when it's uh, when it breaks, right? 
Yes. So like uh, having an automated user next to it that's automatically like placing aquamarines constantly, it won't place anything unless it's able to. Mm -hmm. And then once it does that, then it should be good. So you, just, you, so you don't have to babysit them constantly is what I'm saying. Exactly. Uh, otherwise, you do have to babysit them. Probably do with making a looking glass. So I'm going to toss out some of the ingredients for that. Last pane, sticks, wood, and gold. Uh, sticks. We've got some sticks. Uh, wood. You have the technology for sticks. We do. <laughs> uh, we've got at least one piece of wood. It, there we go. Gold. Uh, uh, we're going to need a bunch of gold anyway, so I'm just going to grab a stack. Mm -hmm. So if you could make a looking glass, that would be perfect. Oh, this, needs to, to... this needs to be a glass lens first, so I need to make one of those. Yes. Right. All right. And while you're working on that, um, Starlight Crafting Altar to upgrade our... Uh, starlight altar to the next level we need a bucket of starlight that's another rock crystal of course um so uh, yeah, as the okay. night progresses we'll be getting more starlight yeah. right now this is kind of ridiculous as it is wow we're getting such a little amount of starlight yeah. and uh... if we were get... sorry yeah. <laughs> no that's all right <laughs> it's cool stuff you're harmonizing it. it's all good yes <laughs> So if we can manage to get one bucket of starlight, then we can get a lot more a lot faster after that. Okay. Because we'll unlock the next chapter, which allows us to make a linking tool, and then we can direct where starlight is going. Like from this floating crystal onto our light wells, perhaps. Right. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> the magical piano has gifted us with a looking glass. <laughs> Excellent. It's almost nighttime. So once um, I don't know if you have journey map up on the top there, it should say uh, like nine thirty-five daytime for me at the very top of the map. Yeah. Um, once it says nighttime, you should be able to look into the sky, provided you don't have any blocks near you. Like right now, you've got spectral relays close by that might block your view. Ah, so you just okay. need to have like a couple blocks around you, flat or not there. And then you look up at the sky and you look around until you find some stars that don't, like the constellations that don't have the lines drawn together. And then you can connect the dots, basically, to make that specific constellation. Right, well it is sunset now, so hopefully I should be able to see into the sky very soon. I can see there's a slime island over there right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it won't, those things won't block you. It's just anything that's immediately close to you. Right, okay. So I can <laughs> I can see through these slime islands. To yeah, really and the access to, access to the sky, of course. So like if some of these like clouds had generated above us, that, that would be... I can see some stars coming in. They're coming into focus. It kind of looks like the constellation that looks like the uh, the armor one, though. Oh, that's good, Armara. So if you need to know how to draw the lines, just go to your Constellations tab and you can look at it there. Mm -hmm. And if you want to draw those lines, you hold Shift and you can draw lines on the map by clicking. I can see the thing, but it is not letting me draw anything. Yeah, the thing is like locked in place, but for some reason the stars are just twinkling and if I click on them or if I click and drag or anything, it's not, it's not doing anything. Uh, do you mind if I give it a try? Yeah, go ahead. I can't remember. Can't remember. Uh, maybe I'm telling you something that's a little bit off. We have a liquid starlight bucket. Yay! I'm actually completely blind. Everything is... Oh, there. Everything's black for me. That's so weird. Okay. So you're supposed to see a whole lot of other stars as well. Oh, no. It's not allowing me to draw either. That's curious. Maybe there's something in our quest book that's pre preventing us from progressing. Oh, no. <laughs> well, here's, here's your telescope. This is happening. It's happening. He's doing the thing. Oh, my word. What's happening? Oh, no. oh yeah. So we've got 1.6 buckets. And it's going pretty fast now, actually, with the amount of millibuckets that we're getting. <laughs> Why are all the particles coming off the crafting table? I'm confused. 
<laughs> supposed to. <laughs> is, is it remaking itself? Oh, it's yeah. chis yeah. it's like chiseling itself into something else. Wow. Okay. Now it's got jet turbines around it. And if you right click on it, you'll notice that the bucket's still in there, and that there's a red bar at the bottom. Ooh, more crafting. Indeed. Oh, yeah. So if you go into your exploration chapter and click on your starlight crafting altar, altar, which is close to the top middle. Oh, okay. It needs like a whole altar to go with it. Wow. Okay. If it's not gonna like be a problem for the altar at all, I'm just gonna put around here the heads of the zombies we've killed. <laughs> just, <laughs> I don't just know. To, we have enough space. <laughs> just, just, just as a warning to, yeah. Uh, yeah, to anyone else who might give that a try. This is what we do. Yeah, don't mess with us. We're we're hard fairies. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> we rock hard fairies. We <laughs> we will cut you with our shimmery wings. <laughs> All right. So at this point, we're gonna need to probably dig up a bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So where should we put this new thing? Should it remain there? Um, we have to move this, or can we move the craft the starlight crafting altar like over here? Well, the that... question I think this point is how far is that floating crystal yeah. going to reach i'm gonna move this just to see uh where to go oh hey completed a quest hey i, I can't oh, place this you've updated reason. a quest it hasn't completed it though there's evidently right, well, like then. multiple stages to these ones so we could actually um build the altar out here and butt it up against the uh the light wall setup I think that that is more than adequate because uh, it's what if I hover over that little starlight above the, uh, the little picture. It says it's a nine by four by nine, so it's a nine by nine, four blocks high. Mm -hmm. So if that's one, two, three, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we could we could build the altar right where that is right. Let me put pick this up. We can build it. We have the technology. Put this like crafting altar down, and then we just build our new altar around it. Can you use this starlight crafting altar as a normal crafting table? To an extent, yes. Oh, yes, you can. <laughs> does, totally does, can. It, does it still make the ah oh, noise when you're just crafting regular stuff? Yeah, well, you you have to you have to click it like normal. So this is me making sooty marble. <laughs> Oh, and that zombie activated. Two more! Hooray! <laughs> oh, no, you leave him alone. Come attack me. He's building. <laughs> we got your back, Pixel. <laughs> I, I appreciate it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. You build. You live that dream. There's, There's more heart more containers there for you. Yeah. <laughs> Ace. Oh, skeleton. Skeleton. It's close, but not quite. Something is off. I think. Oh, no. No, it's working. Got it. Yeah, it's working. Yeah. It's working. Yeah, you... It's alive. You click on the starlight crafting altar, and you can see that there's a light level now. Yeah. Aha! So it's no longer red. It's turned kind of. It's turned shiny. Oh, I actually need to make a starlight crafting altar of my own <laughs> in oh. order to get the next chapter to open for me. Oh. Which is fine. See, I don't know that I have enough starlight to do it, so I might as well just hang on to the ingredients for now. So I need more starlight to actually make that. Dude, there are so many llamas up on this mountain. <laughs> are there? Yeah, there's tons. Look at that. <laughs> That's where I got some of my heart containers. <clears throat> <laughs> A llama with 63 hearts. <laughs> Did you have blight llamas or something? Yes. <laughs> I, I may have. I, I may have yeah. had blight llamas. Right, well, I have all of the stuff required to build a, uh, a linking tool. So once you're done with that, I can do that and it'll it'll complete that quest. Go right ahead. Mm -hmm. Make the linking tool, please. So, yeah, this one requires the, the weird corner crafting thing, which is kind of neat. But then we have two there, two there. Uh, I think it was two aquamarines like that and a rock crystal. Oh, yeah, yeah. That looks about right. And then if I... Give it a tap. No, it's not doing it. Why is it not doing it? Oh, it feels like it should, because it's it's right there. Is is oh, oh yeah, I, I I tapped it and it's Did you tap it with your wand? Yes. So oh. maybe maybe this is just your crafting altar then. Ah. Well, Ector, Ector is now the uh, the chief wizard. 
I'm the fairy lord. <laughs> You're the fairy lord. <laughs> Makes sense that he's the space master. <laughs> Techno fairy. So so now possessing this, it should update the quest. Why is why why you know why you know quest? Probably because we need to actually advance it factor. Because he's actually achieved the things that he's supposed to. You're the quest master. I don't know. I thought it was Valen that had. Oh, really? Pass it around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll try it. Detect it. Whoever bit. holds the linking rod can speak. <laughs> I've, I've got a linking tool, but it's not. Yeah, it's not doing it. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> Boo. Quest book. Click harder. <laughs> on, on the strings click, of your martyr. Click, click. <laughs> Oh, I'm seeing a bunch more stars in the background than I was before. That's actually what's supposed to be happening. Okay. I don't know what kind of glitch that was. Oh, Maybe I, it's some... I can click. I can click on it. Hooray! Oh, it's a new moon as well. Hang on a minute. Constellations. Where are we looking at? Oh, you got to do the one across the middle, right? I see what I was doing wrong. Okay, let's give this a try. you got to make a kind of bow shape at the top. Like right, so. Night time. Night time is the right time. Come on. <laughs> Let me take out all those, all those. <gasps> I've discovered back. a constellation. Congratulations. Yay. Well done, sir. Are, are you still not getting this then? I'm still not getting this, no. How's about you put a normal crafting table down? And like just in front of it and try it in that so it's not in if this is counting as my crafting altar. Oh that's a good point. I could make a regular crafting table. Luminous. Yeah. <laughs> oh and now it appears in the sky too. That's really cool. Alright, I've got the proper ingredients for your pixel. I'll be there in a moment. I'm trying to lure a blight mob into lava. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad plan. Seemed like fun at the time. There we go. Get in there and have a swim. Right, on my way back with only a minor blood stain on my face. Yay, attunement right. has worked for me now. Okay, I have a luminous crafting table. What else I do? Set that down. Bam. And you're going to need four marble pillars, two chiseled marble. Uh, you'll need to grab a rock crystal out of there. And here's a bucket for your starlight. <laughs> Never thought of starlight as a substance I could put in buckets, but apparently it is. Actually, it's excellent when you put it down. It uh, illuminates like a torch. It's, oh, wow. It's uh, ten times faster than water. And it's very pretty. So, how do I do this? Hang on. Uh, you got the, the... Yeah, you you have the book. Right, I... <laughs> I've done it kind of right. I've put the ingredients on there, but not necessarily in the right order. There we go. And now I tap on this with the wand. A pow! Yep. Amazing. Just a tip for the future. You can also use rock crystals in the light well instead of the aquamarines, and they'll give you a ton more, but they're okay. much more difficult to come by than aquamarines, yep. technically. So illumination powder you can use to light up an area like this. Ah. Start clicking. Uh, or you can throw it. Uh, like, oops, might help if I uh, Is it? Oh, shoot, I forgot I've got reach. <laughs> <laughs> Pass some there to me go. and I can have a go. Pew! Oh, yeah, nice. <laughs> um, it's also good as a crafting ingredient, but it's basically a torch. I'm just going to make some glass lenses real quick, and then if you want to try making the celestial alt. That would be excellent. What about the star metal stuff? Because we need that as well, don't we? Oh, yeah. Star metal ingots. All right. So this is the interesting part is we actually need iron ore. Ah. And we've got 20 in the system, so that's perfect. Oh, okay. Nice. If you want to grab those out of the system and make like a small section of them up on the wall here, maybe like four or something. Just one. It doesn't really matter. One's probably the better example to go with. Uh, where? Over here, somewhere near the... What, just place them down? Just one, yeah. Now use your linking tool to link the iron ore to the crystal. <gasps> ah. Oh, he's doing magic now. 
Now it's daytime, so it's going to be slow. During nighttime it'll be even faster, but it should transfer that into a star metal ore, I believe. Which actually, I'm, I might pick this up. Yeah, I'm going to pick this up. Wait. So it's not splitting the uh, starlight. Mm. There we go. I did it. Oh, yeah. And now you can harvest that, and you'll get the ore block. Depending on the mods that you have installed, you might be able to turn it into the um, the stardust directly uh, by yeah, putting yeah. it in a pulverizer, or you could just smelt it and get uh, an ingot. But I, I think, yeah, in an induction smelt, you can take the stardust and concentrated hellfire ingot and make a star metal ingot. But ultimately, just pick that in a furnace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, turn it into a star metal ingot. So that's what we'll have to go with for that. So it, it helps to somewhat double ores, if not uh, turn your ore or your ingots into dust, into stardust, per se. But the textures on it is, is fantastic. I love the, the stardust and star metal and star ingots. They're all great. <laughs> Ah, oh, what's a vanilla furnace? <laughs> you need to have uh, you need to have a netherrack furnace first. Oh, actually, there's one in the system here. Oh, I, just, I just grabbed it. I'll put it down right behind you. There we and go. I think there's coal over here. I've got I've got some coal. All right. I'm going to old school on this. <laughs> yep. Nice. You made the grindstone. I made a grindstone. It looks kind of like a tape dispenser. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not gonna lie, I'm gonna. <laughs> it's like, can you use this to uh, stick some yeah. stuff together? <laughs> well, you can use that to sharpen any kind of astral sorcery weapons or tools as well. Oh, okay, yeah, because I was reading in the book that it said something about the weapons getting dull or needing to be sharpened. Yes, they don't have a durability as much as they just get dull. So nice. it's a different durability mechanic. Interesting. <clears throat> So with this, uh, I can grind down the uh, star metal ore into something. Well, you'd have to smelt the star metal into an ingot. Then you could use that to grind the ingot into dust. Right, okay, yeah. And it should work. I don't know if it's in this version or future version, but it should work also for like an ore doubling mechanic in most situations as yeah, well. It, it acts like a pulverizer. It says it has a chance to double output and it turns stuff into dust, which again is going to get extra yeah. output anyway so that's handy did you get the um the star metal or uh, that was pixel got it okay. yes i have it here i'm turning it into into ingots acres and should i grind that down into stardust or would you do we need it to be metal right no, now no no just put the ingots in all right you have one focused beam of starlight now here's here's your linking tool sir so rock crystals you can't do right right so but, I, I mean should, should we not basically make it so that you have to you have to each make one yourselves don't you oh that would sure why not so, uh, just in case so if you take one of those <laughs> i don't want to like make all three and then no one can use it but me again so, yeah that's fine and you can leave the ingredients that are in there so that would work we'll need two more aquamarine in the end but we should be good grab them um is this not in it? Does it need more nighttime? It might need to be nighttime in order for it to actually do that, which it's very close to doing. It's sunset now. Hey, Pixel, do you think we should have our celestial gateway? Uh, good question. I will. I will oh, tell you. Try and find another. I will tell. I, I will tell you what the stars say. It's <laughs> It's something. Ooh, it's shiny. Doing super super light stuff on it. I found a second constellation. Cool. We're making a light show down here. <laughs> I really want to come and see it. I will be there momentarily. Oh, you're upgrading it to the, the next altar. Yeah. Uh, I didn't realize that's what it was. Oh, you were it. oh there is the, a light um, show. What is it called? That's what I've been doing, Fallon. The, I've been... I thought it was the special <laughs> gateway. No. <laughs> My bad. But yeah, that's awesome. This takes a bit. <laughs> it's, just, no, no, no. <laughs> it's gonna be the entire night. <laughs> it's just gonna be spent doing that. Meanwhile, I just learned about the constellation Evitas. So uh, don't cry for me, Argentina. Remember those um, 
little starlight crafting altars that we had made. Yeah. Pixel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna need, we're gonna need to upgrade each of those further. Do you still have yours? I do still have mine. Okay. This is more so, this is more crafting interfaces than I know what to do with. All right, go ahead and put yours down, Pixel. Mm -hmm. And I've got a whole bunch of ingredients here for you. Uh, right. I two, have two, and rock two, crystal. Two. And you have a rock crystal? Yes, it's in there cool. now. I think that's everything. Was glowstone part of it? Oh, we've got a flare. Look up. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh, is this good? What? Well, I don't know what's happening. Uh, it, it's it's favor from the uh, astral gods. <laughs> oh. wow. We're on such a high difficulty. It's actually got three and a half hearts. It's supposed to only have a half a heart. <laughs> <laughs> They're just like little balloons that are really, you know, just a little side effect. That's it. They're harmless. Oh, and it 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 poofed and, it, and it's gone. It went. Yeah. It looked extra good with the, the constellations that I've now discovered in the sky behind it. So have I got that the wrong way around, or is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Aha. Time Tap. to level up. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> exciting times. Now, hopefully I've done that fast enough that you can still do yours while it's night time. I think it said in the book that there's something to do about the phases of the moon when some of them appear brighter. So that might have been why I couldn't click on the other one before. Yeah. Actually, I think it was kind of glitching because we didn't even have any stars. Yeah. I'm not sure what was happening, but uh, I found it that time. How do you know what constellations are what? You should find I some stars that look kind of brighter and bigger. And then the oh, book, yeah, yeah, and yeah. then the book will show you the basic shapes of them, and you just have to memorize them and kind of copy that. There actually is another altar that needs to be made after this now. <laughs> of course there is. There's always another uh, altar. And it is different, but then um, for the one after that, it's the exact same one with just like a little bit added on top. So it's at least you don't have to rebuild it. Yeah. <laughs> but for now, I'm going to remove Yay. this. I did one. I did one. You got it. I got a Vetus. Yeah, that yeah. sounds right. Nice one. Sweet. And so when you back out of that and you look up in the sky. Yeah, yeah, it's there. That's, it's that's lovely. Up there. And they actually move across the skybox, which is really neat. Like they've they've moved since we've yeah. uh, had nighttime. That's really that cool. Is nice. It, that's cool. If you unlock all of them in time, they'll actually encircle the moon as it goes around. Ooh. Pretty cool. Very cool. Yeah. I uh, don't know how much more you guys want to go. I Ooh. think I'm probably good for now. In terms of episode content, I mean, I could spread this out over like three episodes. <laughs> so we've done a lot. We've been recording yeah. for two oh, hours and oh, most of that has been progress. Spider jockey. <laughs> <laughs> That's what? There's a spider jockey up here. Oh. <laughs> he, he keeps like coming out of cover because of the spider, but then going back into cover because the skeleton starts burning. <laughs> there is so much in this mod. There is. It's a very big magic mod. I had no idea it was this you big. To, to work your way through it slowly. It's very enjoyable. I think I might. After having had a crash course in it like this, now I've seen the experts at work, I think I can probably muddle through myself. <laughs> 